Hello, I'm Tom English, and this section is on word problems. And uh, I don't know if it's the math portion of it, the English portion of it, or the combination of the two, but for some reasons, word problems really cause students a lot of difficulty. And what I want to do is actually do three or four videos on here to talk about the different types of word problems. And the first one, I want to emphasize the translation that we need to think about when we see the printed word and what math symbol those words might uh, represent. For instance, the ones that we should be pretty familiar with, when we see the word sum of, uh, added to, total, more than, we should be thinking, oh, I have to add. Those are all indications of adding uh, two or more numbers together. Uh, words like difference, less than, uh, smaller by, these all indicate that we're probably going to need to subtract. Uh, times, obviously, multiplication, the product of something, product means multiplication. Uh, quotients uh, goes into, uh, also uh, a lot of times uh, They'll say something is uh, two per uh, for five hours, two for five hours, or uh, three per package, that kind of thing. You can uh, think uh, division. But let's take one example here. Uh, try to uh, dissect this uh, small problem and see if that is a, a start towards helping you understand uh, how to switch from words to math symbols. This problem states that five times the sum of a number, n3, is the same as the difference between the number and nine. Now a lot of kids are going to read that and just go, oh, I don't even know where to begin. But let's, let's take it as we read. Five times. So that tells me that I'm going to have five in either a times symbol or since the next one's kind of a complex, I'm going to use parentheses. Five times the sum of a number and three. Well, one of the things we also need to remember is that it refers to a number or a variable. Uh, we're looking at some kind of an unknown. And what do we do in algebra when we want to indicate a number that we haven't quite figured out what it is yet? We use usually a letter, uh, X comes to mind, Y, but it could be A, B, C, it doesn't matter. But let's, in this case, say the number is X. And it says five times the sum of a number. So I'm going to say that number plus something. It's the sum of a number and what? The sum of a number and three. So. The sum of a number and three we can uh, symbolize with a uh, x plus three in the parentheses, and we say five times that. Well, five is outside the parentheses. So once we figure this out, we'll multiply it by five. Now here's the key of the problem, though. In fact, you always want to be looking for, there's got to be an equal sign someplace. And uh, usually is is the word that is key in that case. So it says five times the sum of a number and three is, so right away, equals the same number, or the same as the difference, oh, is the same as, so that's a, again, equals, as the difference between the number and nine. Difference means what? Difference means we're going to subtract. What are we going to subtract? We're talking about the difference between the number. It's the same number, so it would be this x, and the difference between that x and the number 9. Okay? Now we've got it in uh, an equation that should be fairly simple to uh, solve. 5, when we want to get rid of the parentheses, we multiply by the number, we distribute that by both. So 5 times x plus 5 times 3 is equal to x minus 9. 
Okay, again, we want to solve for the unknown. We get all the x's to one side, everything else to the other. Let's start by bringing this x over here. So if this is a plus x, we do just the opposite. So we subtract x from both sides. We now have 4x plus 15 equals negative 9. How do we get 15 over to the other side? We do the opposite. Minus 15. That leaves just 4x on this side of the equation. Whatever we do to the left side, we do to the right side as well. A negative 15 and a negative 9. Hopefully in the earlier lesson you learned. Combining numbers, what do we do? If the signs are the same, we add. 9 and 15 is 24. And of course the sign would be a negative. We now have 4x is equal to 24. Get x by itself, what are we going to do? Divide each side by 4. And we get an answer of x is equal to a negative 6. Okay? Very simple problem, but again, the wording, and I can see why some of the students, especially early in their math, have some difficulty with this. But if we get them to look at these words and right away think in their mind, ah, sum of, added to, I'm, I'm going to be adding, that's a plus sign, and so forth through the symbols. I'm also going to have a video on the percents are a tough one. Uh, for kids, uh, and uh, we'll get into some of the other uh, uh, word problem uh, difficulties, and hopefully uh, together we can uh, help your students out with uh, uh, maybe uh, word problems won't be such a problem after all. Thank you.